I'm losing my voice, but we're talking about coming to God, living a life for God, getting closer to God, talking to God, talking to God. For so long, for so long, I was alone. Man, and I was insecure, I was depressed, and I kept on trying to feel this void, feel this insecurity. With drugs, with weed, with pleasure, with validation, with mentors, with money, with women, with all this bull crap. There's meaningless things that I was trying to fill my insecurity, my problems with. Trying to fill this void, trying to find this peace, this joy, this purposeful life in the world. And it wasn't until I came to Christ, I began to find joy and peace and happiness and true fulfillment. And the more I get closer to God, the more that I feel true peace, true faith and not fear. No anxiety, no worry, no stress. Jesus, Jesus, God takes away my fear, fills me with faith, helps me overcome the problems I tried to run to, to fill the void that I was lacking because I didn't have God in my life. And because I didn't have God in my life. But God's hand was on me. But I didn't know God. I didn't love God. I didn't fear God. Because I didn't know God. I was falling victim to the world. To the enemy. To demons. To sin. To vices. I was falling victim. But man, I can tell you. When I got close to God. When I get close to God. When I speak to God. When I pray to God every single day. And basically every single moment. I'm praying. I'm talking to God. Every single moment. Every single day. I'm praying. I'm talking to God. I'm reading his word, I'm getting by on his people, I'm pursuing, I'm living a life, I'm giving, I'm sacrificing my dreams, my desires, my selfishness, my me, me, me. I'm sacrificing my life to God because God is the one who put me here. So my, my purpose, my mission is only that of who put me on this earth because I have no responsibility for being here anyways. So who am I to have this ego or have this idea or have this pride? that I have any control, that I deserve anything, because God is the one who placed me. He's the one that keeps my heart beating. He's the one that keeps my mind thinking. He's the one that keeps my eyes blinking. He's the one with the sun in the sky. He's the one that makes it rise and fall, the moon rise and fall, the world turn and turn, the winter, the summer, the spring, the fall, the money that comes, the clients that come, the business that comes, the purpose that comes, the, my woman who came, all of these things, my friends, the community, all the great things that are coming to me all glory to God or glory to God he deserves all the glory because only through God I'm able to overcome my problems and fill my voids and take away my stress and anxiety God is the only one who does that so if you don't know God if you don't believe in God I'm telling you I'm telling you man this saved my life I was dealing drugs, I was selling weed, I was doing all types of drugs, getting blacked out, wasted, partying, going to high school, college parties, doing it all, all types of sins, all types of things, all my junior and senior year in high school, man, I was doing it, I was a rapper, I was doing it, after, after high school, still lost, still lost for the year, still fell into temptation and vices and the demon and the enemy, then I fell into the demonic cult for a year and a half, that was nothing about that. It was the complete fullness of Satan and demons and the enemy. Full of it. And I fell into it. I was a leader within it. I embodied it. And I fell more and more into the darkness. I fell more and more into the enemy. I fell more and more into the sin. Man. And I was trying to fill the voids, the problems. I was looking for the joy, the peace, the fulfillment. From the world, from all these worldly things, I was on the pursuit for more money, more materialism, more travel, more pleasure, more pleasure. My selfish flesh, I was falling into more sin. I was losing my soul. I got more depressed, more insecure, more anxiety, bigger ego, bigger pride, more gluttony, more, more, bigger, bigger. My soul was draining, my soul was draining, and I was dying.
So if you don't know God, but God saved my life, and I, God saved my life, God saved my life over the last year, and I just continue to get closer to God, talk to God more, me more of God's word, read more of God's word, believe more, more faith, more about God, and things keep getting better and better and better and better. In my soul, it doesn't matter about the material your world. The material world is prospering and thriving and getting better. Best believe it is. But the most important thing is my soul. My soul is getting better. I am getting saved. So if you don't know God, I encourage you to get to know him. If you haven't experienced, if you haven't looked into it, if you haven't begun to look, I hope to plant a seed within you. And if maybe you kind of know God, maybe you kind of love God, I encourage you to know God more, read more of his word, follow his commandments, submit your life to him, be obedient to him, read his word, read his word, pray to God, talk to God, have faith in God, submit to God. I, I encourage you to do so because you won't regret it. Just try it, just try it and watch how God, watch how good God is. You might think I'm crazy. You might think these people are crazy. These Christians are crazy. That I'm crazy. These people of God are crazy. You might think they're crazy. You might think they're just crazy. But how about you try it? Maybe there's some truth. Maybe you should check it out. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I encourage you to do so. It saved my life. And that's all I can preach. My testimony, I preach. I give you my testimony. I give you my life. Because I gave God life to God, so I don't even exist. I don't even care. I don't have desires. It's all God's will. It's God's will. It's God's plan. It's God's love. I don't have no control. I just do what God tells me to do. Do you understand? All right, I encourage you guys to do it. God bless. Through God, all things are possible. God is good. God is great. Do you see this? You think humans can make this? Just this, this beauty, this amazingness, these things we don't even understand. We try to solve with science. It's all by design. It's all by design. All right, guys. That's the video for today. God bless. God bless. God bless. Amen. 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 All glory to God. I'll see you guys next time. God bless your soul. See you soon. Peace.